Can the Green Bay Packers bounce back after a frustrating season-opening loss? Expectations are high for their matchup against the Indianapolis Colts, but the main question remains, will Jordan Love be on the field, or will the Packers face this battle without their starting quarterback? The teams are preparing for the clash at Lambeau Field, and while the Colts arrive with a healthy and dynamic quarterback, Packers are dealing with uncertainty. We'll explore everything you need to know about this decisive duel from injuries, strategies that could determine the outcome. So, what are your bets? Will the Packers show their strength at home? Comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any details. The big focus of the week is Jordan Love. Packers quarterback is dealing with a knee injury, and his presence in Sunday's game is still uncertain. This doubt casts a cloud of concern over the Green Bay team, which needs to bounce back from its season-opening loss. Without Love, the Packers will have to rely on a backup quarterback to lead the offense, something that could be a challenge, especially against a defense as physical as the Colts. Love's injury further complicates the scenario, making the matchup even more unpredictable. If Love is able to recover in time, he will still need to play at a high level, something that is not always easy after an injury. His mobility ability could be limited, which would significantly affect the Packers' offensive dynamic. On the other side of the field, we have Colts quarterback Anthony Richardson, who has been gaining momentum after a solid performance in Week 1. Richardson is a rare breed of player, combining physical strength, agility, and a powerful arm, which makes him a constant threat. Although he made some mistakes in the first game, Richardson showed that he can lead the team with big plays, such as the two long touchdown passes that kept the Colts in the game against the Texans. Packers will need to be careful. Green Bay's defense, still adjusting after the first game, will have to be disciplined to contain Richardson's ability to extend plays and generate big gains. One of the Colts' greatest strengths, their offensive line, which excels at both protecting the quarterback and opening up spaces for the running game. In week one, the line allowed just five pressures, a fairly low number considering the competitiveness of the NFL. With veterans at key positions, such as center Ryan Kelly and guard Quentin Nelson, the Colts have a solid foundation to protect Richardson and give him time to explore the field. The presence of these experienced players poses an additional challenge for the Packers. Defensive line, which will need to find ways to pressure the quarterback without compromising run control. The Packers can't penetrate this line. Richardson will have plenty of time to explore the defense and find his receivers in depth something that could be decisive in the final result. Despite giving up over 200 rushing yards in Week 1, the Colts' defense still has some standout players that could make life difficult for the Packers. DeForest Buckner, for example, is an intimidating presence on the inside of the defensive line, with the size and ability to both stop the run game and pressure the opposing quarterback. In addition to Buckner, Colts' defense features players like Quiddy Pay and Julian Blackmon, who also play crucial roles. However, both are dealing with injuries, which could open up a window of opportunity for the Packers' offense. For the Packers, the key will be to take advantage of these absences and try to establish an offensive rhythm early on. If they can control the clock and avoid mistakes, they will have a good chance of winning this matchup. The Colts lost the turnover battle in Week 1, with Richardson throwing an interception at a critical moment in the game. These kinds of mistakes can be the difference in a game as tight as the one we'll have on Sunday. Forcing turnovers will be one of the big keys to getting the win for the Packers. Green Bay's defense has the ability to intercept passes and recover fumbles, and against a young and inexperienced quarterback like Richardson, those opportunities will come often. However, Packers also need to take better care of the ball. Any mistake their offense makes could be fatal especially if the game stays close until the end. With Jordan Love still in doubt, the Packers' running game could become the backbone of their offense on Sunday. Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon are Green Bay's main weapons in the backfield, and both have the ability to carry the team on their backs. If the Packers' offensive line can open up the necessary gaps, 
Jones and Dylan could exploit the weaknesses of the Colts' defense, which, as we saw, struggled against the run game in Week 1. However, the strategy of running the ball also depends on the score. If the Packers fall behind early in the game, they will be forced to abandon the running game, which could hurt their chances of winning. Injuries are a big factor in this matchup. In addition to the doubts surrounding Jordan Love, the Colts also have concerns about some of their key players. Blackmon, Buckner, and Pay are all key players on the Indianapolis defense, and their absences could make life easier for the Packers' offense. On the other hand, the Packers are also dealing with their own injury issues, and Love's absence would be the most impactful of all. Playing without their starting quarterback puts a huge strain on the rest of the team, especially on the ground and defense. The health of the players in the coming days will be crucial to defining the strategies of both teams. Whoever is in better physical condition could have a significant advantage. One of the most interesting matchups of the game will be between Packers cornerback Jair Alexander and Colts wide receiver Michael Pittman Jr. Alexander struggled in week one, and now he'll have to deal with an equally talented opponent. Another crucial matchup will be Packers left tackle Rashid Walker and emerging Colts pass rusher Layatu Latu. If Walker can't hold off Latu, Packers quarterback, whether it's Love or a backup, could be in serious trouble. These one-on-one -on -one matchups are often the deciding factor in such tight games. A strong performance from Alexander and Walker could be the difference between a win and a loss for Green Bay. To win, the Packers need to execute a few key strategies. First, they need to limit mistakes and play in a disciplined manner. Turnovers were a major factor in Week 1, and they can't be repeated. Second, they need to take advantage of the running game, especially if Jordan Love is out. Controlling the clock and keeping Richardson off the field will be key to slowing down the Colts. Finally, the Packers' defense needs to be aggressive, but also disciplined. Pressuring Richardson without letting him escape the pocket is a difficult but necessary balance to contain the Indianapolis offense. Game against the Colts is an opportunity for redemption for the Packers. After a tough loss in Week 1, a win at home could rekindle the team's and fans' confidence. With or without Jordan Love, Green Bay needs to come out on the field with a solid plan, focusing on defense and the ground game to ensure control of the game. Injuries will be a crucial factor. The Packers have the talent to win. If you enjoyed our analysis, leave a like, comment your opinion on the game, and subscribe to the channel to receive more content about the Green Bay Packers and other important Packers news.